stiff chin here. This is probably going to be the last of the cleanup videos in Trout Creek. Not because it's too cold, but everything seems to be falling early this year, like on time actually. Uh, leaves are in here. Um, there's sediment on the bottom. It's becoming increasingly hard to identify rusted metal. So in order to not miss any, I have to call it quits for the season. It's at a point now where I'm going to get what I get today. I'm going to connect it, which is the goal, from the main trailhead for the locals all the way to the covered bridge. All the metal's out of the creek. But now, I have to fight my way up one of the longer stretches I've done yet. And there is no path that runs along this section, so I'm going to have to really carry some of this junk far distances to get it into a pile that I can get it out of the woods. And uh, because it doesn't run along the path, I have no idea how much creek I actually have to cover today. But I'm going for it. We're going to work our way in this direction. This is where we started with the uh, Springside Sportsman Club and worked our way down that way. That intersects with all the other spots that I've done all the way to the covered bridge. I have to work my way up this way until I connect with where I was in the last cleanup video. And we should be good to go at that point. Next summer, well, next spring before summer even hits, I'll be back in the water to finish from the covered bridge to the emerald bridge. I want that out of the way too. And then we'll have a nice long section of creek that you guys can feel free to walk in. It shouldn't be any ceramic, glass, or metal, which is what I've really been after. And I've really cleaned out. Anytime you guys feel free to go hiking i would recommend coming down to any of these spots next to the creek and there's plenty of regular garbage to be cleaned up yet there always is there always will be you can't defeat that one but this metal this can be defeated i'm going for it
Okay, stitch in here. I have now reached. In the last video, I pointed at this from down, I should say up creek. Because I had made it to this point, actually a little beyond it. I have now connected the dots from the covered bridge to the main trailhead where the bike paths are. There are no more pieces of metal debris in this creek, in our creek at all, from the covered bridge to the main trailhead. There are just a few piles staged throughout the woods. Next step, get them out of here. I want it gone. I don't want money for the scrap. I just want it gone. I want it out of here. Starting next spring, I'm going to work my way from the covered bridge up to the Emerald Bridge. And by the time summer rolls in and people want to get in here and start swimming, start fishing, you shouldn't have to worry about any more metal in here. That's it. This is victory right here, man. I jump around, but this is so slippery. All the soot on the bottom. There's leaves everywhere. Almost didn't get this one done in time. I wanted to get it all the way to Emerald, but kind of added that on later in the season. I was like, you know, I want to go a little farther. But I'll have that done by next summer. Let's go check out the pile I have down at the other end. Everything else I grabbed this way, I kind of drug it with me. I only had a few pieces. Threw it in a pile down creek. You say up creek that I had made in a previous video, it's in there now. I have a file staged and uh, it's back where we started this video and I'm gonna show it to you now. Okay, that was a very long hike on the path to get back where I started, so I went pretty far today. Whew, all right, uh, one quick explanation. Uh, you're probably all wondering why all the leaves are still green. I've made a ton of footage cleaning up and I'm still editing it all together. This video, it is October 1st. So keep that in mind. You probably won't see this for a few weeks because I got other videos to put and uh, I gotta edit this one together. This is the cleanup campaign's final resting stop for the season. I, uh, I'm still going to be out here in these woods. I'm going to be hiking around. I'm still going to be cleaning up garbage. Don't think about throwing anything in this creek. I'll find it. Believe me. Can't hide it from me. So let's show you what I got. I have a very little pile. All of it is extremely heavy. This looks like this was part of somebody's like attic or something. I mean, it, it opens. And we have our typical long rods of metal. This is a part of the fishing rod. Metal, metal, this. That thing weighs a ton. That's heavy. It's like railroad scrap. More railroad scrap. So, I mean, that's that. The rest of the stuff was thrown into another pile. I have one little pile. It's like two or three pieces. That's right next to the path, so now I can come along and easily access this stuff without having to get back into the water if it gets too cold. But that's that. I'm stiff chin. This is my pile of crap. And whether it's cold, whether it's hot, whether it's in the water, or whether it's in the woods, I'm off to the next spot.